You're located in Harpers Ferry National Historical Park. Three states come together here, Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia. We also have two rivers that join here, the Potomac River and the Shenandoah River. We're not a one person, one event, one day type of site. We've got hundreds of years of history here. But let me just throw some names out who came here and literally changed who we are, changed us as a nation, coming here, doing things at Harper's Ferry that ultimately changed our lives today. John Brown, revolutionary, comes here to commence a war to end slavery. Robert E. Lee, before the Civil War, United States Army, Lieutenant Colonel, he captures John Brown ends his attack here at Harper's Ferry. Abraham Lincoln, he comes here in the midst of war to review troops, thousands of them, 60,000 soldiers here in 1862, right after the Battle of Antietam. America at war. Harper's Ferry was at the crucible of that war. Weapons, George Washington. Washington establishes a United States Armory and Arsenal here so that we can defend ourselves, defend our nation. And so even during Washington's time as presidency, uh, he creates the Harpers Ferry Armory and Arsenal. We make rifles and muskets and pistols from the time of Thomas Jefferson to the time of Abraham Lincoln. And then finally, we are part of the Civil Rights Movement. Now, not the Martin Luther King Civil Rights Movement in the 1950s and 1960s, but one 50 years previous to Dr. King. Yes, the first civil rights movement in this country, led by W.E.B. Du Bois. He comes here in 1906 with a group of African-American leaders and what was known as the Niagara Movement. They meet here, Dr. Du Bois issues a proclamation with respect to civil rights, a declaration uh, declaring that all Americans should have equal rights in 1906. And ultimately this becomes the foundation of the modern day NAACP. So we have so many people, so many leaders, so many events that help change America's fabric and America's destiny, all converging here like the Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers do at Harpers Ferry.